Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. I have a hiccups. I've had them for like an hour now, and I think I might have just quelled them. Uh, I will hold my breath. I'll exhale and hold my breath or hold my lack of breath until I have to, have to, have to breathe. And sometimes that kind of knocks the hiccups out, but I'm hoping it did because I, I've had hiccups for about an hour now. It's driving me out of my mind. But that's not why you're watching the video. Uh, what am I doing today? It's October 26th. I think they're gone. Oh my God, I'd be so happy. Uh, it's October 26th. I should keep talking so they don't come back. Uh, it is about five o'clock in the afternoon. My smart watch is run out of juice, so I have to charge that when I get home. But um, nothing going on today. As usual, my days off are very, very peaceful. Uh, just amazing. Oh, God. And I needed a rest after my last trip. Uh, but the cats last night destroyed their final quail feather. That sounds like a name for a band. Um, Hobby Lobby, where I am right now, sells quail feathers that are like this long. I mean, they're huge. Buddy and Eleanor love them. Eleanor will do her best to tear that feather apart, but it's one of the few toys that Buddy will actually play with. So I have to buy a few more because I've run out of my stock. They're usually two for like $7, but I suspect the prices have gone up. Um, what else is going on today? I have to call and make an appointment to have my car looked at uh, tomorrow. <clears throat> nope. Uh, that air pressure, that uh, pressure light that I told you about last uh, last time, uh, that uh, is still on because I have not had a chance to get air in my tires. But um, my left hand front tire, which is the one that was punctured and repaired by the maintenance people at my dealership, um, is the, is soft. You can see it's like rounding at the bottom. It's not going to lose pressure tonight, but it's been slowly, clearly losing pressure. So either that tire has to be repaired again or something. Uh, but um, I also have a notice on my dashboard that lets me know I have to have my oil looked at. It's at 15% uh, efficiency, apparently. So I want to have that done. Plus, I think one of the recent visits to the um, uh, maintenance folks there told me that I should have my uh, brake fluid looked at. So I'm mean, that, those are the, the issues I'm going to hopefully have addressed tomorrow. But I have to uh, call and make an appointment. What else is going on? What else is going on? Oh, oh, oh my God. The world is crazy. Do you know how when you come to my videos, you never know what you're going to get? I'm going to Hobby Lobby or I'm going to Fort Lauderdale. You don't like, you never know what you're going to get on my channel. Cats or Goodwill, which is why my subscriber count is pretty static. I'll be at like 9,000, whatever I am for like another six months. But, um, the news is just about as crazy as my channel. I can't believe what's happening in the world right now. We have a mass shooter in Lewis, uh, Lewiston. Um, 15, 16, 18 people gone from this planet because of this guy with, a, with an AR-15 style rifle uh, designed for war not a bowling alley or a restaurant, which is where he used it. Uh, dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of other people have been shot and wounded, injured, um, and uh, that's happening. The Republicans just elected someone who is so extreme uh, uh, as Speaker of the House that I, my mouth is dry. I can't even, I can't even. Do you remember when the Republican Party used to be about small budgets and big militaries and and small government, they didn't want to get, they didn't want anyone involved in their lives. But now Republicans have turned into like, who's using what restroom? Who's pregnant? Who's not pregnant? Should they be pregnant? Um, uh, can they not be pregnant? No. Um, I just, the Republican Party confuses me entirely. It's transformed into something I don't recognize. Um, and uh, we have two wars in the world that are, uh, the the news. I can't not watch it because I don't want to be ignorant of what's going on, but I just get so wrapped up. Can you tell? <gasps> oh, um, what else is going on? Oh, uh, I am debate. Oh my God, a son. I am debating whether or not to have a Christmas tree up this year. Now, when I bought my house, one of the first big purchases I made 
was, oh, I hate skinny jeans. I'm trying to push my legs down. Um, I, uh, one of the first purchases I made for my house was my Christmas tree. I spent like 450 bucks on this amazing Christmas tree. It's amazing. But since I put it up, I've had a lot of furniture added to my living room. And if I want that tree up, I have to take two chairs, an end table, and something else out of my living room, probably my day bed. Um, there's a lot of furniture in my small living room. Uh, in order to put up a Christmas tree that no one's going to see except for me and you. Um, so do I put a tree up? As much as I enjoy decorating it and all that. Uh, so I'm going to also, while I'm here at Hobby Lobby, I'll look at trees. And I'm going to stop off at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, whoever's closest, to look at trees there. Just maybe buy a small one, like a tabletop tree. <gasps> I've become old enough to consider buying a tabletop Christmas tree. That's a sure sign of being a senior citizen, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Um, I have to go into Hobby Lobby. I can't believe it. All right. I'll see you soon. I've just spent the last 20 minutes looking for feathers. Um, I found them. They're not as long as they used to be. They're not as long as they used to be. They are $6. There's two in a package. There are four packages available. I'm going to buy all four. Sorry, people. If you're looking for quail feathers, I got them. I won't spend $24 on a very nice meal. I rarely spend $24 on an Uber unless I really, really want to go. But I have no problem spending untold amounts of money on feathers for my cats. See these little tea lights? I have been looking forever for tea lights like this in clear little plastic cups, not the metal cups, because you can see the metal, that gray metal stuff through the candle holder itself. But Amazon sells them. They're super expensive. But here I found these. They're little, they're the same diameter as a votive tea light, but they're larger in little glass cups. So this is a big win. Eight bucks. And those little ones burn for like six hours. These will burn for 10, 12 hours a piece. I am super excited. Who knew I'd be this excited about candles at Hobby Lobby? All right. What else are we going to find? Hey there. All right. So I picked up a couple things uh, that I can't show you because they may be potential Christmas uh, little, little small little gifts for co-workers I may work with on Christmas Day. I typically work on Christmas. So I like to have a couple things. This will go in my, my Christmas closet. <gasps> I am an old lady. I'm officially really there. I've been threatening to be an old lady, but here I am looking for a tabletop Christmas tree. They didn't have a good one. And I have a Christmas closet, a gift closet. Yeah, I'm an old lady. Um, so I've got some things because I usually work Christmas and I want to have a little something to give to my coworkers. Um, I need a bite to eat. Um, I did call my um, my uh, car dealership and made an appointment for tomorrow morning at 10.15. So that's done. I need to eat something and... I don't know what else I'm doing today. I should eat first. I will see you shortly. Before I go anywhere, I was gonna show you my glasses. Um, these are them. You'll see that it's a clear crystal plastic with uh, gold metal bits on the sides and the temples. I really like them. Uh, they don't look really very expensive, but they look, they look nice enough. I like them. Uh, I think they were $27, including like everything so yeah not bad i love z lul um i need to get something to eat i don't know where to go but um yeah i'll see you shortly there was a lowe's around the corner so i stopped off here i feel quite at home as i'm wearing flannel um <laughs> this is my tree that's my christmas tree right there it's seven and a half feet tall all the lights all that stuff it's $498. I think I spent that much on that tree. And this is the option for like a smaller one. <clears throat> it's $60 and it looks really sad. I might have to stuff my furniture in the garage. I can't have that for a Christmas tree.
Remember my problem with ants last week? Yeah, well, I bought these things. This stuff really works well when the ants get to it. Uh, I snapped these things off and the ants wouldn't crawl into that hole. They would not go inside the, the ant bait. Uh, so I poured it on the floor, covered it with a seashell, the giant seashell, so that the cats wouldn't get to it, but the ants could, and it worked, but it dried up really quick, and the ants are back. So I'm going to try this one, also the same company. It's got these little holes on the bottom. Hopefully the ants can crawl in there and die. All right, wish me luck. Ant killer. So my hiccups are gone. But so is the day. I don't know how it slipped by so quickly. I mean, it just vanished in front of my eyes. Uh, I got home relatively late last night after eating something, getting to the house, giving the cat some treats and stuff. So it was relatively late and I was wiped out after that very long trip. This morning, woke up early, gave the cat some treats, went back to bed. We all went and took a nap. Gave them more treats this afternoon. My uh, neighbors, I told you, were evicted. The owners are in there today doing some demolition. They're doing some renovation. Uh, and uh, so the cats have been wildly unhappy because bang, bang, bang. And the cats are teleporting every five minutes. So, uh, so the days kind of slipped by. Went to uh, Hobby Lobby, bought those uh, feathers, some Christmas stuff. And then I just went into Lowe's. I bought some ant stuff. I bought some sponges. Just bought some odds and ends for the house. And um, yeah. That's it. So I'm going to look at my uh, comment section right now and see if there's a question that's worth answering that might be valuable enough, the information to, you know, pay for you watching this whole video. Uh, and then I'm probably going to go home and hang out with the cats, play some Starfield. Uh, and um, yeah, so let's, let's see what kind of answers I could give you for some kind of questions or blah, blah, blah. I'll see you in a second. Let me look at my comment section. Hey guys, how are ya? I just got home a little while ago. I thought I would sit down and answer at least two good questions to give this video some value. Otherwise, you just looked at me watch, uh, look at Christmas trees and buy Aunt Babe. So, uh, two, two questions. Um, I think it was Beth asked, is it okay to sleep in the crew room? at the airport. If you're going to commute into work, for example, is it okay to sleep there that night or that day before your trip? Well, if you have no other recourse, none, you're penniless, you have nowhere to go, you have no friends, and you have no, like, no choices, people sleep in the crew room. It has become a problem in my base. There has been a handful of people over the years who abuse the space and behave as if it's their own personal space. And it's uncomfortable for everybody. So, but uh, in, other than that, where you have no other options, my answer would be a hard, fast no. Don't do it. It's unsatisfying to you and makes everyone uncomfortable. So um, picture going to work in a regular office situation. You've had a long day. You're gonna have to come back early the next, the next morning. So you figure, I'm just going to take a nap under my desk while other people are working. It's not appropriate. It's not responsible. It's not going to satisfy you. Uh, that's kind of the, that's kind of like sleeping in the crew room. I, I can only speak on behalf of my crew room where I work. We have a quiet room, which is where you can take a nap if you have super cat ninja sleeping abilities because the crew room can be a very loud space. People like myself walk into the crew room very loud. Hey, how are you? Welcome. Where are you going today? Oh, are you ready for this flight? Blah, blah. We're all chatting. We're all talking. There's a, a PlayStation or something in the crew room. I haven't played it with it, but I mean, people are playing a game. All sorts of stuff are happening in the crew room and you're trying to sleep. It's just not going to happen for you. And if you do what some other people have done is literally crawl into a corner and pull a blanket over you to try and sleep. I don't want to be mean, but it's rude. It's kind of rude. It kind of. I mean, I know you may not have feel that you have other choices, but it's kind of rude. Now you're putting everyone else in that room in a position where they have to either 
try to walk on eggshells and talk real quiet because there's someone trying to sleep in the corner. Or they can behave as if they, they should be at work and talking however they want to. So it's just unsatisfying for you. It's irritating for everybody else who has to change their behavior around you sleeping in the crew room. So <laughs> this turned into a, an answer and then a rant. So I apologize for that. But hard answer, don't do it. Don't do it. A crash pad will cost you $250, $300 a month. Uh, and um, that will that will be a better value than a hotel room for sure. Uh, but there you go. Dan asked a couple questions. The one that I thought was really um, fun to answer tonight is, and it's a slippery slope. If you watched my last video about my expectations, what do you expect from your coworkers? Whew. Flip my hair back. All right, so it all depends on the situation. But in general, at work, on the aircraft, I would expect my coworkers to know their job, do their job, and be at least minimally neutral, if not pleasant, to our passengers. Um, they're paying my mortgage, so please be nice to them. Um, know your job. You know, there are people, there are a handful of people who let pretty big things slide and you kind of have to be a friend and say, hey, did you see that car seat where, where it shouldn't be? Oh, I didn't, it didn't, whatever. So reminding each other to maybe, you know, do the, do the right thing. Um, but just do your job, know your job. Our jobs are so simple. Arm a door, disarm a door, do a service, walk up and down the aisle, make sure no one's having a heart attack, collect trash, um, you know, answer the phone. I mean, we have very simple jobs. The hard part is staying vigilant because, you know, some of these trips are four or five hours long, everyone's sleeping, or you haven't slept and you're kind of drowsy. Um, I get slipping occasionally and not catching something, but we can each be there for each other and support each other. If I kind of let something slide, my coworker who knows their job and mine, because it's the same job, can catch me and, and help me. Um, the things that um, just really honestly make me want to tear my head off of my own neck, shred it into pieces, and then throw it, I, I'm burning into the sun, I mean, really mad. The things that make me, that was very descriptive. Um, people doing things they know they shouldn't do. And not just little things like glancing at their phone, I don't want to see your phone. My phone is not out. I don't because we're not allowed to have our cell phones out when there are passengers on the plane. Um, but um, there have been people who have watched movies. I've, I've walked up upon them, seeing them watching a movie on their phone in the back row with earphones in. My head wants to explode. My whole body wants to melt in a molten pool and lash out. I mean, I really get irritated. Can you tell? Um, it's, it's, I mean, it, it's only happened maybe twice, but um, it's happened. And the, the last time it happened, the person, oh, I was so mad. Oh my God, I was mad. I walked up, I was like, oh, oh, could you not do that? I didn't explode. I was like, oh, could you not do that? Thank you. And they looked up at me like, really? Really? <laughs> you know? Um, and there's just, there's a handful of things that are just absolutely abhorrently wrong. Like watching a movie when we're, we have a full airplane full of passengers. Those things piss me off to no degree, no end. But if you know your job, you're even marginally pleasant to our passengers. You don't even have to be nice to me, but be nice to my passengers, our passengers. Do your job. That's all I expect. I don't expect anyone to be superhuman. If, oh, what I, uh, one thing I would hope, I don't expect, but I would hope that if you are a flight attendant working with me and you're having a bad day, your cat died, your boyfriend broke up with you, you broke up with your boyfriend, your mom's sick, anything is wrong. If you're having a difficult day or just let us know. Like, hey, I'm going through some really bad stuff right now, and I really, I'm not 100%. Just let us know. I, I can I can speak on the entire base. All of us, you, universally, will take up any responsibilities we have to. 
within reason. I can't arm and disarm your door, for example. But if you're having a meltdown and your life is falling apart and you can't call out sick, sit in your jump seat, read a book. Let me take care of the trash. You know, let me take, I'll, I'll make an announcement, you know, just. So if you're, that's, that's it. Blah, blah, blah. That meant to be, I meant to answer two questions and I ended up going into two rants. Mm -mm. All right. That's it for the day. So I'm going to um, give the cats their good evening treats. I'm going to play a, a little Starfield and then I'm going to hop in bed because I have to wake up relatively early for me uh, to go to the um, dealership tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow. All right. Have a great night. Fly safe. Bye. Hey, Mr. Buddy. Hi. Nothing? You're not going to say anything? Is the light too bright? Say good night, honey. Say good night. Bye. Oh, 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 did you see? He said good night.